Hello and welcome to Tabletop 24. Thank you for joining us for another unboxing. Today we have San from De Beer Games. First off, I must say, the weight of this box is absolutely it, uh, yeah, it weighs it weighs a lot. Um De Beer have now got into this habit of putting a big box game in a small box. The latest one that we've played from them is Salt on Sea, and that is a massive Euro game. I say massive, a large Euro game in a very tiny box. And we're hoping we're gonna see something similar from Sand. We've got this really nice artwork that comes on here straight away. So I don't know too much about the game, so we're going to get straight in there. I mean, and the, the reason why I don't know, unless unlike me, normally I know at least a little bit of something. This was a very much an impulse purchase at UKGE. Um, Devere can't really miss at the moment for me. Um, we didn't really like Red Cathedral, but I, I say I didn't like Red Cathedral. Some of the guys did. But Salt and Sea really did well for me. I think White Castle looked really cool. I haven't played it yet. Um, they've got cities coming out as well. Uh, Sand is obviously the next one in, in the line. And I think a lot of people have got respect for the line at the moment. So it, they've become one of those lines that I'll just try and get hold of a copy or at least try and play. Um, and for the cost of these games, I think I want to say I picked this up for £30, £33. Now, that might be a lot to, to some people, um, but when you compare that to other games with, that are offering the same amount at a table, and when we get into some of these components, you're going to see you get a lot for your money and a lot of value out of that. Now, obviously, the value in a board game is a little bit different because you may want to see what you what playability you can get out of it. But right, without further ado, we are going to get into this. Now, one obviously, the ne negatives with this is you do get multi uh, multiple, multiple rule books of different languages in here. So, I mean, there's quite a bit of weight in these um, straight away. So just be aware of that. Um, again, if you want to, you could probably throw the others away because um, I think we're going to struggle to get everything back in here. Uh, looks like we've got a fairly nice rule book, fairly well is illustrated. There's a lot to go through in here, I think, um, or at least potentially a lot, to, a lot of sort of background information that you can go to and from. Um, but the main purpose, I think, will be doing pick up and deliver as we go through this. We've got solo mode in there as well. Um, right, let's get in and have a look at what we have. So we are going to have our player aids. I won't be going through them because there's multiple languages in there. And again, when it comes to text on cards, they will provide you with multiple languages. So just bear that in mind. Uh, we have got cubes of all different varying colours. I mean, we've all pretty much seen one of the cubes before, so we won't go through those. Um, in that sense, it might be a quick unboxing. Um, but we do have some really nice sort of other wooden components here that we will take a look at. So we've got our some dice tokens, uh, which look quite nice. Um, got a little desert sun, desert star. Um, I think we've got our score markers and our buildings, bases. Um, our little sandworms, um, definitely not dune adjacent. Um, got some really, really chunky dice. I know John will enjoy some, some big chunky dice. Um, then we've got all of these boards. So these are our player boards. Um, dual layer, which is really nice. We did like that in Salt and Sea. Um, and again, look at these that you're getting in this really bloody small box. Um, and really nicely illustrated and really colourful. Um, yeah, just adds to that sort of level of production quality. So we've got a bag, so that. And we've got our board, and we say colourful and pretty. And this board looks really, really nice. So I see out there in our desert that we're going through. So just a little bit more colour in your game. Um, right, uh, we've got a bag, which is going to be some of our components, maybe our cubes. Um, then we've got some cards, which we will open. And get into it. Always interesting to these card packages to get into. Okay, so uh, assume we're going to see these are like missions or potentially benefits that we're going to be getting um, as we go through. Uh, 
maybe like a turn order potentially possibly um so not many cards in this i think it's going to be very deterministic some of the bits they're going to go on we've got our punch board well, i think this is going to be money potentially um a nice little market board maybe yeah looks like it's going to be some sort of market board um some extra other bits of tokens i'm not going to pretend i know exactly what they're all for but we've got some in some player colors um then we've got some additional characters i think that we're going to be picking up so maybe some markets we're going to be going to and i think these are characters that you noticed on the sideboard that you can, i think you can pick up so it's going to be good to to get those um gonna be interesting to see how we're going to get that market board back in the box after we get rid of all this punch board um yeah watch this space for that one i think um and look as always there is not a centimeter an inch a millimeter a fraction of space left available in this box when you put everything back in um that is um, plastic and it always makes me a bit nervous about trying to put the lid back on these boxes because um you always get a bit of rise with them so uh maybe this one is one we'll get rid of the multiple language ball books but anyway if that is sand and thank you for joining us for this unboxing if you like what we do give us a like and a subscribe check out the other videos on our channel and we'll catch you next time take care